Hello, it's Amy with Mama Bear Blue. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you can be notified when I have new videos uploading. So I'm excited to show you this thrift flip. This is a large buffet that I found at the Goodwill for $50. And I used some DIY paint and Sweet Pickens milk paint to give it a makeover. It also needed just a little bit of repair, so I used some Bondo on that. And I'll give you the step-by-step -step on how I completed this project. This buffet, probably also known as a sideboard, was in pretty good shape. It just had some chipped veneer. So I decided to use some Bondo on this. You just wanna use it according to the instructions. I will tell you that once you begin mixing the putty with the hardener, it doesn't take long before it starts to activate. So you only have probably about a minute or so to get your putty in the places where you need them. So I just worked a little at a time filling in the cracked veneer. I overfill the spots just a bit so that after the putty has hardened, I can sand it down. wiped all the sanding dust off and then it was time to start with the paint. I'm going to paint on a base coat of DIY paint and here I'm just testing out two different colors, weathered wood and prairie gray to see which one I want to use. The milk paint will be chippy so when it does chip I want to have one of these colors showing through. I actually decided on prairie gray. I applied one coat of that and I wasn't worried about complete full coverage since this was the base coat. Now it's time to mix up the milk paint. So I chose a couple colors of blue. I wasn't exactly sure yet what I wanted to do. I did have an inspiration picture that you can see under that milk paint. I am using Sweet Pickens Milk Paint and Old Fashioned Milk Paint. They are made by the same company. Colors were Bluebird and Soldier Blue. Milk paint comes in a powdered form and I just mix it into some warm water. I use a plastic fork or an immersion blender. Here I'm going to use my immersion blender. And it should be about the consistency of a melted milkshake. For the final color, I decided to add just a bit of the soldier blue into the bluebird, and that came pretty close to my inspiration picture. Milk paint, you only want to mix up the amount that you're going to need for your project. It will keep for about a day in the refrigerator, but it, after that it will spoil, so be sure to only mix up what you need. I had a lot left over, so I had other projects that I used it on after this, so as not to waste any. I applied two coats of the milk paint and after the second coat you can see that it started to chip. 
If you do not want such a chippy look, you can use Sweet Pickens Milk Paint Extra Bond, just a few drops to your milk paint so that it won't chip quite as much. Use my orbital sander and a 220 grit sandpaper to get some of the chipping flakes off. For the harder to get spots, I just use a piece of sandpaper, still using about a 220 grit. After I was done with the sanding, this is what it looked like before the wax was put on. Then I applied a coat of DIY Paints Clear Wax to the entire piece. I used a soft cloth. I like to use old t-shirts and wiped off any of the excess wax. If you wait 24 hours after this, you can do that again and buff it to a slight sheen if you'd like. I decided to also use a little bit of dark wax from DIY Paint, not over the entire project, but just select areas and then wiped back. When you do that, that dark wax will sit down in those brush strokes and cracks and re really help give it an aged look. The insides of the drawers and cabinets were pretty scratched up, so I used some DIY Paints Dark and Decrepit Liquid Patina and brushed on a coat inside the drawers and inside the cabinets. Here's the before and after so you can see what the Dark and Decrepit does. I found some knobs at Hobby Lobby which I loved. I thought they fit the look of the piece pretty well and I put the knobs onto the piece and stay tuned till the end for the final reveal. For all of the paint and products used in today's video you can visit my website mamabearblue.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did be sure to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!